Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate the pull-push technique of steering. Um, so the first thing to think about is um, your, your normal hand position on the wheel. So here I've got my hands at the 10 to 2 position, so uh, 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. You can drive with your hands a bit further down, um, but I find it a little bit more comfortable to, um, to hold, hold the wheel here, but it's entirely your choice, your preference. The, things about, the thing about um, holding the wheel is you want to hold your wheel with your thumbs out onto the steering wheel rather than your thumbs in. Because if you do have an accident, you'll, you'll fall forward and it's your thumbs that will get caught first and probably dislocate them. So um, make sure that um, your thumbs are out and you're able to steer the wheel comfortably. Um, it's in a good position before you start. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is do a, a full lock turn to the right. Uh, now full lock is, um, is steering the wheel basically as far as it will go. And normally it's about one and a half turns of the steering wheel. So I'm going to demonstrate that here now. So to get um, as much leverage on the wheel as I can, you start with the uh, a right turn or a left turn with the appropriate hand at the top of the wheel. So I'm going to turn right, so I want the right hand at the top of the wheel, because I'm going to pull the wheel down with my right hand. So I'm going to pull down, push up, pull down, and then we're there. And then I'm going to steer the wheel now the opposite direction, so push up, pull down, push up, and then we're there. So I'm just going to talk through that, that through again, but this time I'm going to show you what my hands are doing um, and talk to you about how I'm positioning my hands and how to get the most out of the steer. So first of all, once again, start with the hand at the top. Um, so I'm gripping with my right hand and as I pull down with my right hand, notice what my left hand is doing. It's not holding the wheel, it's not gripping the wheel, it's sliding around the wheel. But its position is directly opposite my right hand. So the two are in a race if you like, um, but no one's going to be the winner because it's going to be a draw down to the bottom. So no one hand should get to the bottom before the other one. They should both reach the bottom at the same time. And then in that position, I'm going to switch my grip. So I'm going to grip with the left and then push up with the left. And then the, the, left, the right hand then slides to meet the left one at the top. When I'm at the top, same again. Pull down with the right all the way down to the bottom, switch my grip, push up with the left until it won't go anymore and that's roughly one and a half turns of the wheel. Okay, so now I'm going to take the steers off or um, what that means is steer the opposite direction. So I've just steered right and now I'm going to steer left. So I'm, this time I'm going to pull down with the left hand because I want the wheel to turn this way, I want the wheel to turn to the left. So I'm going to pull down with the left meet both hands at the bottom, switch my grip, so now I'm gripping with the right, push up with the right, sliding with the left, both hands to the top, meeting at the top, switching my grip, so now I'm gripping with the left, pulling down with the left, sliding with the right, both hands at the bottom, switching my grip once more, holding with the right, pushing up with the right, and both hands to the top, to my finishing position. Okay, so I'm just going to demonstrate that in, uh, for, which is roughly um, uh, the right speed for uh, a turn. So right under the top, pull down, switch my grip, push up, pull down, switch my grip, and then we've got one and a half. Back to the original position, so I'm going to stay the wheel one and a half turns left. Pull down, switch my grip, push up, switch my grip, pull down, switch my grip, push up and then back to my 10 to 2 position. So that's why it's called the pull-push method. You're either pulling down with one hand or pushing up with the other. Um, you'll also notice that um, when you're steering the wheel, you're actually only steering with one hand. The, uh, the other hand is following, around, following the opposite hand around the wheel. So whenever we're driving, it's best to keep your hands close to, close to the wheel uh, for safety. So you've got a good grip, you can quickly get onto the wheel if you need it. Um, and I'm just going to demonstrate now so what that would look like if we're steering left. So instead of putting my right hand at the top, I'm now going to steer the wheel left, so we're going that way. So I'm going to start with the left hand at the top, and I'm going to pull down with my left, switch my grip at the bottom, push up with my right. Um, so just as I did with the um, right turn, I'm switching my grip at the top and at the bottom, and alternating which hand I'm pulling down with, which hand I'm pushing up with. So now I've just steered all the way to the left there. So now I'm going to steer 
one and a half turns back to the right. So, pulling down, there's my half a turn, back up, there's another half a turn, got one half a turn left to do, and then we're back to the original position. So what I've just demonstrated there is a full lock turn to the left and a full lock turn to the right. But in normal driving, you're not normally steering that much unless you've got a really sharp corner to go around, or perhaps you're doing a manoeuvre like a turn in the road, for example, three-point turn. So in normal driving, you'd probably be steering the wheel little bits like this, or um, if you need to steer more than that, then I would try to avoid steering like a racing car driver um, and slip one hand opposite another. So avoid steering like this because you can only steer so far be before you can't steer anymore. Your hands get all tied up in knots. Um, so your pull push steering needs to come into effect at some point. And I'm just going to demonstrate when that is. So I want you to imagine that anywhere past the position that you're holding on the wheel, for example the 10 to 2 position, if the right hand here is going to go past and down below that position, then instead of the left hand following it over the top of the wheel, slide the left hand down so it's mirroring position, it's nice and opposite, down to where it is. And then you've now steered effectively a quarter of a turn and then you can steer back up. So if you want to steer a quarter of the turn to the left or some, some steer to the left, same thing. If your left hand is going to pass the um, original position pulling down, then don't follow it with the right, just slide the right hand down to meet it at the bottom and then back up. So how much you steer depends entirely on the corner, but the technique of steering will help you negotiate all those corners quickly and effectively. Now of course you do see some people steer like this and the opposite way. We call that window wiping. Not a technique that I would recommend because I'm actually only steering with the ball of my hand and I'm not actually gripping the wheel. Um, that's a grip of the wheel. So if I did go over a pothole or anything I could quite easily lose control of the wheel so I wouldn't certainly recommend you don't steer like that but um, if I need to steer um, as quickly as that I just perf I, ju I just perfect the technique so you'll see that actually um, using the pull push technique which is a lot safer there shouldn't be any reason why you can't steer as quick as some of the other methods you see people steering that aren't as safe and there we go back to our original position okay so let's just drive off and I'm going to show you that technique uh, with a number of steers. Um, I'm going to move off in first gear here, right under the top of the wheel because I'm about to steer quite a bit to the right. So there we go. Now watch my hand position, pull down, push up, pull down, and then up, and down and up, so I'm straight again. So I'm just going to do some right turns using that pull push technique. So I'm about to turn right. I'm going to pull down, push up, hold it, and then I'm going to straighten up, pull down, push up holding it there. Once again, pull down, push up, holding it, and then pull down, push up, there. Pull down, push up, holding it, pull down, push up, and then we're there. And there we go. So that was a right turn. So now I'm going to demonstrate the left. Pull down, push up, pull down, I need to spare, I need to steer a lot more. And then the opposite, pull down, push up, and then we're there. So for every turn you put on, or every amount of turn you put on, you're taking that same amount of turn off to get the wheel straight again. So there you've I've steered almost full lock, and I'm going to straighten the wheel up, and I've taken that full lock off one and a half turns to get the wheel straight again. And I'm going to come to a stop. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, you can find me on Facebook, so facebook.com forward slash complete driver training, all one word. You can inbox me if you've got any comments uh, about any of my videos, or you can put a comment at the bottom of this video. Um, good to hear from you if you've got any comments or any questions you want to ask, that's absolutely fine. You can ask away and I will uh, definitely reply. Um, you can also email me uh, on ray, dot, uh, uh, ray uh, at complete-driver.co.uk. So that's ray at complete-driver.co.uk. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.